Welcome to Channel to Chaos. Today I'm going to show you how to declare your functions below the main. Now this process is almost the same as declaring functions above the main. There's a slight difference that I will show it to you in a minute. So starting with our today's program, today I'm going to show you how to convert your string, your lowercase string, into uppercase. It's going to be really simple, obviously, if you understand it. So getting started. What I'm going to do is declare a string, get the string from the user, alright, scan it and then pass it to the function where it would convert it into uppercase so let's see first I declare the string over here in the main I always start the program in the main so I have all my declarations done over there and I would recommend you to do the same so let's say 15 elements in a string more than enough now rather than type in scanf statement I've got an alternative for you which is known as the get s function what this function does is gets the string for you basically it scans the string for you this statement is exactly the same as doing this all right percent s comma and percent of string so this statement and this statement is no different and i think that this is much more simpler to understand and much more efficient but this thing is only used to scan a string, nothing else, okay? You cannot scan a variable with this. I mean a uh, integer. So never use this for scanning an integer, it will give you a direct error. So now I'm going to use this for scanning the string. So I got the string, right? Now I'm going to my functions, below the main in this case. So starting with the function, I'm going to declare it as integers. And uh, I'm going to name it, let's say, upper. STR. Okay, I'm going to name it upper STR. I'm going to put its brackets. The parameters I'm going to pass is the character string, STR in this case. And open my brackets. Write integer, name of the function, the parameters. Since I only want to convert uppercase to one string, only one string has been passed. Now, let's say that I want to convert it into uppercase. So there's also another function for that. I'll show it to you in a minute. So I've declared an integer i for indexing in my loops, alright? So I'm going to take a for loop over here. I'm going to say i is equal to 0. And I'm going to say that string, or the str in this case, of i. This is my condition. There's a reason why I've chosen this condition over here. Now this function doesn't know the length of the string. I have declared over here 15. It can be 3, it can be 4, it can be as many as I want, right? up to 15. So this is for if the string exists. Let's say I'm going to give you an example over here. Let's say I insert the string Google. Okay. So Google consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 characters but since the index of an array starts with a 0 so then 5. Right? So 5. So it's going to detect i is equal to 0 and go up to 5. Now if I don't put this in here it's going to randomly continue with the function with the loop I mean and that would be wrong right so that's why I've, I've put in that condition over here and then post fix, in, post fix increment now I'm going to say that str of i all right, is equals to 2 upper of str of i so what this function does is converts your string into uppercase that's all it does and I have passed the function, uh, the string, to it. It's right. It's really that simple. And what it's going to do is, whatever is the uppercase, it's going to paste it into this original string. And now what I'm going to do is print the string. Printf, okay, uh, percent s, comma, str, and this is my call. Now do keep in mind to use the get s and the two upper functions. You need to declare the c type dot h in the header file okay so do keep that in mind now let's call the function uh, upper str okay pass it two brackets sorry I just wrote it wrong upper str okay it should be the same as this one and I need to pass it the string in this case string now as you can plainly see there's no difference between declaring the function above the main and below the main but there's one fun one difference. You need to declare the main part of the function above the main and put the semicolon in the front. If I don't do that, the function would not work. Alright? Let me run the program first. 
So again I forgot to pass the parameters. Again it's a string, it's not a single character, so I need to pass it the parameters, the string. Okay? So let's run it now. So there you go, the program runs properly. So I, it's asking me to insert a string. I enter Google in this case. It prints Google in uppercase, as you can plainly see. So what I have done here, declared the function over here.